Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Uh, this is going to be a vlog, I guess, of my birthday month. Um, this is going to be my first haul, and uh, so we'll get to what the first haul is. Um, so, Thayer's Facial Toner Witch Hazel. Um, I've been using Witch Hazel for a while, but I usually use an Australian Witch Hazel. Um, so, this one has been very, very, very well reviewed. Um, and it has aloe vera and rose petal in it. So, we're going to see how this one goes. And it has all of the um, great stuff, which is alcohol-free, paraben-free phthalate free gluten free rose water so um next up is a new camera which is a bit exciting this is a canon power shot g 9 x mark 2 um i think the mark 3 is out um but this is still a very good camera and uh, yeah, so PowerShot G9X Mark II in black it looks like. Or we could just open it and see, because obviously this is kind of a, I had pulled stuff out um, of the box and uh, thought I'd show you guys. So, um... So I'm sitting on my bed where things are not as convenient um, to holding a camera. Um, but that's okay. So that's obviously warranty card information. Um, the book. And add. I guess. Okay, so we've got some cords. So really, you missed me just taking it out of the boxes it came in. Um, this is a battery charger. Okay. Um, another, oh, this is a strap. And ah, the battery. Of course, this is so that you can buy extra batteries with Canon and recharge them and have them recharged if you are on the go a bit more you can have one charging and one going um, and so this is very hard to hold you guys and what I'm doing in my hand so this here is the GX Mark II doesn't have any charge obviously because I just unboxed it but that's what that is so that is one present now well, it's the second present um, so the next one is a San disk 64 gigabyte I hope that's I'm presuming that's to go with the camera in it Okay, and next up we have this. It looks like a case. Oh, look how cute that is. So that is, um, it looks like some type of microfiber cloth, I guess. And this is some type of faux leather case okay yay there we go so this is the kind of faux leather case that it came with and then it comes with this strap I guess that this strap clicks onto here and you can carry it kind of like an over the shoulder bag so that's kind of cute and 
last but not least um, this is just not as easy to do one handed as you would might think but I just didn't really want to go to my desk and turn on the lights and do all the other stuff so on the bed one handed it is Oh, that might be a better angle, but then my foot's in the way. Okay. Okay, so this looks like an 8 inch. It's got these little from the purple panda. So this would be a liner. And it's got these cute little dash ons on it. Um, and this is this this is a would be a 10 inch and it's this like swan rabbit flower um, the state bird of the state that I live in is a black swan my swans are pretty awesome birds um, okay so it's that cute one and then there is this so this is like a kookaburra print these are obviously a polka dot print with I'm going with being that it's an Australian theme obviously and this like a this would be a wombat with a Christmas hat why not and these are both 10 inch moderates so this is part one of my birthday month it is the 4th of May um, so I'll probably be filming this blog over the month and we'll post it at the end of the month so you can see some of the other hauls I get I actually kind of like this haul <laughs> sorry it is a Monday and it has been a exceptionally long day at work and I'm very exhausted normally I'd be very 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 excited about all of these things and I do appreciate all of them and I'm actually a big fan of all of them I am just showing less enthusiasm than probably you would expect just because it is a Monday and I'm very exhausted but they're the three prints from the purple panda <laughs> Thayer's uh, witch, hazel, witch hazel face toner a camera bag a camera bag and a Canon G9 X Mark II. So, see you in the next part. Okay, it is uh, May, Tuesday, May uh, 5th, um, and so the last one you would have seen would have been actually yesterday evening. Um, this is the next birthday package that I got, which was well, this Indian healing clay, um, which is calcium bentonite clay. <laughs> um, so this is the this is another beauty product, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's wrapped here it's got this little sticky thing so um that is the next i didn't expect it to be so quick after yesterday's uh update or yesterday's i guess vlog start for the month of my birthday um i think i have another uh three packages coming for my birthday maybe four Pending, so um, but yep, this one along with the Thayer's uh, facial toner, uh, which is pretty good. Um, so I will have to try this out. I am sure I'll do a review on it at some point to actually uh, get it through. So yeah, um, this is update number two on the fifth of May. It is currently the 8th of May and this is the next update on uh, my month of birthday and of course I've got uh, the next two um, gifts that I've got which is the face halo 
Modern Makeup Remover in Black. Um, so apparently there's three black face halos in here, which by just the use of water takes off makeup and are cruelty free and vegan and apparently can be used uh, by like I think 500 times I think per disc um, uh, before they kind of start to lose their uh, potency or whatever it is um, Face Hello is an Australian um, designed product um, that is made in Korea and their Australian headquarters are actually um, where I live in Perth and this is a Tetan Tetan hmm. uh, camp pillow so um, the idea of these is that they're um, extra large can't be a pillow 18 by 12 um, inches in this little stuff sack and uh, I've had the blow up pillows before and I detest the blow up pillows um, because they are um, super 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 like horrible and your head slips off them and I just they make a very uncomfortable sl sleep so these are like a squishy um, in film, it's got this pillowcase, um, which is kind of, it feels kind of microfibery, I guess. It's a bit like a smooth microfiber, I guess. And then there's the inner pillow, so, um, which is kind of like just a foam filled pillow for camping, but obviously squishes um, down into this size. So uh, this is Friday the 8th of May and this is the next present update. I imagine I will have um, more on more next week. Um, obviously the mail's not delivered on a weekend um, or I don't have to go pick up mail over a weekend. So um, yeah, this is the latest update and I'll see you in the next clip. Hello everybody, it is Monday the 11th of May and time for another update. Um, so what we have here is more, ironically enough, beauty products. Uh, my Magic Mud uh, in cinnamon clove flavour. If you've um, watched me for long enough, you will know that my flavours are um, cinnamon clove anise um, that type of and hence then there's also this one which is Dr. Bonner's anise is this not focusing so annoying anyway um, we've also got Nelson's Naturals uh, Nelson's Naturals Zero Waste in a uh, citrus spice blend which was um, I actually do like this toothpaste um, but also this was um, a really good flavour. Um, also got this Dirty Hippie Cosmetics Probiotic Deodorant. It's just in what's called a fresh flavour. Uh, tea tree, coconut oil and shelf stable probiotics fight bacteria naturally and efficiently. Um, and it's got cocoa and shea butter with kaolin clay, bicarb soda, arrowroot powder, virgin coconut oil, cannabula, I don't know, wax, live bacteria, tea tree extract, natural vitamin E, essential oils, and is certified organic. So there's that one. The next one is this Noosa basics which are uh, with magnesium it is organic coconut and lime deodorant um, these are all stick deodorants because I don't really like spray deodorants and I was never really an aerosol spray person but um, the like the wet spray ones I guess you know that were liquid inside and then you'd spray them on and yep I wasn't a big fan of them so these are definitely um, a much better 
um, in general. Next one, so these two are uh, Australian companies. This is from New South Wales, um, and this one is from Queensland, um, this New South Basics one. Um, this is, I think, a US company, um, and another vegan non-toxic one. This is a Cure, and this is Cedarwood and Mint. Oh, and in case you didn't know what this one, so Coconut Lime, um, this is Cedarwood and Mint. Um, and of course a vegan and organic um, and the last birthday present here is an Australian thermal by Mountain Designs and it um, yeah so it is a thermal blend um, because obviously as you guys will know I hike I've put some stuff up online so this oh, this is the shirt, um, obviously it will go in the wash um, before, if you guys don't wash your clothes before you wear them, just be wary of them containing chemicals to keep them fresh um, and store friendly. So generally they will contain chemicals um, to, cons to uh, make them store friendly, so you should be washing your clothes at all times before wearing them. Um, to maintain their hygiene so this is uh this stripy one and that is up the update for monday the 11th of may for my month of birthday so i'll see you in the next update it is wednesday the 13th of may and i've got the next part of my birthday month month present which is the thermal bottoms um, so this is again by Mountain Designs and um, it kind of goes I don't know why they weren't sent together they were ordered from the same shop not the Mountain Design website itself but they were ordered from the same um, shop and uh, yeah so these are um, the one that I got, so let's, this is the colour that I got, so, which is kind of this burgundy colour, I guess, so yeah, that is, um, the next part of, um, the birthday is, uh, yes, Australian Merino Thermals because uh, my last pair um, that I got two years ago um, I still use and I still wear but they are synthetic so anyway this is the latest update okay this is the 15th of May um, and this is the next package delivery uh, it is white tiger balm um, I also have I'm just going <laughs> to move you around and drop the camera. I have I also got this package. I don't think I filmed it. I don't know if I filmed it or... Is that even... That's not... So, anyway, I got Red Tiger Balm. Um, but obviously Red Tiger Balm. Uh, that is not doing its job properly. It's not focusing... There we go. Um, so this is, I've got white tiger balm. Um, okay, I'm going to take this out of the box. Yep, this is not as easy as I thought to get out of the box. So, is that going to focus on this? Maybe not. It's not going to focus. Okay, there we go. So this is the white tiger balm. And I also have... Um, the red tiger balm um, so there's the color difference on the bottom so I got this first I might not have filmed it in the opening I can't remember there's quite a few of these uh, videos now that I'm um, for my the month of my birthday um, the bonus of having the white ointment um, is that essentially they have different ratios of uh, 
the ingredients. So they're the same ingredients in here, but they have essentially a different ratio. So the red has more camphor um, and the white has more mint oil, essentially. Um, so this white can... Um, so this kind of red is used more for muscle and the white is used more um, as a like a nasal decongestion if you see it on the um, box here so that's the difference between the two so I've got the white tiger bum um, what I also got is these which are completely written in Vietnamese um, so these are essentially like muscle uh, relaxant kind of things I managed to damage my foot I don't know how I managed to um, damage my foot but let's face it that's what I did so this is all um, written in Vietnamese um, but essentially it's it's got the same symbol here as it does on kind of here so on the tiger balm, so it's like a tiger balm, it's kind of like a bandage um, like this and you take off this pack and you put it on your skin. Um, so like this, which is kind of what I've done because I don't even know what I've done to myself. So yeah, even better for my birthday month is severely injuring myself. Um, I do actually have to go and get a scan done, but that will happen at a later date. Um, another thing that I did get is, if this is going to focus for everybody, is this bunch of farmers uh, stick. That's the bit that's written in French. So we're going to go over to the English side. So this is the bunch of farmers stain remover um, made in Canada. Um, and that is the... There we go, so it removes grass, salt, grease, red wine, ketchup, ink and more. And that is the ingredient list. Okay, so this is another thing, probably you will get upcoming um, reviews on all of these things um, as they, as I kind of go through them. Um, so this is minimal packaging as well. And this is what the stain stick looks like. Um, you probably would have seen this in other people's videos. But there we go. This is the Canadian made a bunch of farmers stain remover. So in my month of birthdays, this is the next gift. Again, I think I probably said it at the start of this um, clip. Is It is the 15th of May. And I think I've got another four packages coming. So hopefully we'll get these updated. Um, this video will probably most likely be posted. I'll have to edit it and post it probably for the 30th of or the 31st of May. So you guys get to see what goes on. So um, for my birthday month. So <laughs> this is possibly going to be quite a long video as we go along. But um as you can see, there's a lot of beauty and healthy type things, but that's the way getting aging works, I guess. Okay, it is the 19th of May, which is a Tuesday, um, and this is the next birthday gift, which is this monkey shoulder. I'm not sure if it's even focusing properly. There we go. Um, so this is blended malt scotch whiskey. So this is the next birthday gift. Um, I think this is number six-ish, maybe. Um, I do have another two on the way. Um, but one hasn't shipped yet. And one has shipped but may um, arrive next month in june which is not so good um so i don't um i was planning to have this vlog done by the end of the month and like post on the first of june 
um, for the month of May, my birthday. Um, so I haven't decided if I am doing, if I'm just going to cut it off on the 30th of May and post what gifts I have got over the month or whether I am going to wait a bit longer and um, post the gifts that were late due to COVID. But that's just the way of life. But anyway, this is the 19th of May's post. Hello everybody, it is the 24th of May, uh, which is a Sunday, and uh, I was out on Friday and Saturday, so I didn't end up doing present updates, um, so we're going to do them now. Um, so I've got this shirt, um, which is obviously the um, four infamous villains um, from Disney which is Ursula, Evil Queen, Cruella, Deville, and Maleficent. So there's that shirt. There is this um, very awesome She-Ra, Princess of Power um, shirt. Okay. Um, then this very adorable um, stitch. Oops, it just moves the seat and the other. So there's a stitch one. Because a stitch is very cute. Um, and this jumper, um, which is from Cape. Um, so this is um, for when we get back to hiking um, and staying out. It's uh, light enough to um, carry with me. Um, okay, so there's that. Um, this water bottle with a wombat on it. Oops, it's not focusing. There we go. Um, it is a 500ml double walled um, by um, Maxwell Williams. And it's part of our animal design series. Um, and this book by Rain Bow Rowell Pumpkinheads, um, which is a, um, a graphic novel. Okay, um, so um, I did get this um, gift basket. Um, this is a um, harvest shop basket. Um, this is not what came in it. Um, I will attempt to insert a picture um, when I'm editing all of this so you can actually see how it came. Uh, because I've, again, forgot to film it. Um, I got this and went out um, about an hour after I got it. It did come with a bottle of wine. Um, it came with this um, bread board. Um, so it also came with... I'm going to move these things out the way because these are other oops, presents. Um, so it came also came with this bread bag. Um or baguette bag if you want to so it came with a baguette bag it says baguette me not on it and um, it still has some of the packaging straw in here um, as you can see um, this was the tie on it and it also came with this chocolate um, there we go mint and cocoa um, which is great because I'm a mint and cocoa person and it came with this chocolate which is a red wine jelly and rocky road chocolate. Um, it also came with a fig um, like paste jelly and olives and white wine um, and of course this market basket so um, that was a very cute gift. Um, of course this straw is now everywhere throughout um, my house which is not so useful um, but um, it was still very nicely packaged and very nicely done this is the board maker um, so the maker of this board here um, is by here um, and it was also Margaret River wine as well um, I will um, insert pictures of both of them 
somewhere in here so that you can actually have a look. Um, I may attempt to even insert them in the right space when I mention them. But who knows with my inability to edit. So I'm going to put them back in here. Um, this is a Pyrex mixing dish because as we all know Pyrex is a great company. Um, and this one here is a, I think I've mentioned it before from one of the last ones that I've had, um, is that this is a um, cook and go set um, which means that they can go from the oven to the microwave to the fridge to um, what would probably be microwave um, oven fridge microwave but you can make um, omelettes and everything um, in it um, and then obviously put the lid on and take it to work so these are actually very very useful um, we all know that we like multifunctional things um, and that's what it is is a Pyrex cook and go and all the details um, and then this is a travel fast USB charger um, so obviously with this one plug you get a plug and four USB chargers um, outlets which is very useful for somebody with as many devices as me um, so these were all the unexpected presents um, I still have two packages coming um, I believe um, so hopefully they will come before um, the end of um, the month <laughs> because I'm pretty well not sure I'm going to have to edit this on the 31st of May to then post it for the first um, so yay that's going to be interesting but that's the update um, uh, that's today's update for a Sunday um, May 24 another update for the birthday blog and this is uh, Monday the 25th of May so I've been at work um, obviously all day this is a um, order from Booktopia when it focuses because it's obviously it's just slow on the focus really um, okay so this is from Booktopia um, okay, and it is Jonathan Livingston Seagull by Richard Bach, and it is um, the anniversary edition. Um, so I had read this uh, book as a teenager and um, liked it then. I've read it probably twice as an adult, um, but generally have um, not had a copy myself it's always been other people's copies um, so I got a birthday copy um, and the other one is Dr. Jen Gunter's The Vagina Bible um, which separates a fact from fiction and um, I have actually listened uh, to the audiobook of this so this is some of the stuff that she goes over in this book and um, there we go and um, oops so essentially I will I found that when I was listening to the audiobook there was some really really uh, great stuff that I kind of wanted to comment on in the review uh, but sometimes I find audiobooks hard to uh, kind of stop and get the quote properly um, at least this way I will kind of reread it as a book and uh, essentially be able to highlight and draw all the way through this and um, then I'll be able to uh, give you all the quotes that I really like in this book and um, have kind of everything in there that I want you guys to know. So there will be a review coming up on this one. Um, not on this one because I don't really review 
books from male authors just because they usually get enough attention. Um, so yes, this is the 25th of May update. Okay, it is the 26th of May uh, and we've got another update. Um, I feel that possibly two of the items that I've ordered uh, won't get here in time for my birthday month. Um, but this has, so this is a Converse shoe order because my Converse are pretty broken. Um, and I'll just see if I can get them to show you guys. I'm gonna okay so <laughs> as you can see um this is a pretty broken pair of um converse I've pretty much well worn these in the heel is coming off um if it will focus on that for us I don't know um but yes, so the heel is broken through. Um, it's kind of the same for this pair of shoes as well. Um, it's all coming apart, but that's fine. I mean, that's what happens. So um, I'd like to point out that I've had these probably for about seven years. They were a limited edition um, pair of Converse All-Stars. Uh, there we go, that's probably another... Um, yeah, I'm going to move you back so I can um, hold on to you a bit better because let's face it, okay, there we go, maybe I have to hold on to you a bit better there. Um, so yeah, these are pretty wrecked as you can see, um, we've come into winter so this has come apart and these shoes keep on getting my feet pretty wet um this is still my favorite break which is 95 percent of the shoe there um this one's also broken down the bottom there we go so yeah um i've also have another two pair of Co converse a limited edition pride pair from two years ago and um a simpsons pair from probably five or six years ago and um both of them are not as bad as that pair why isn't this focusing um there we go um both of them are not as bad but they're both the simpsons pair are starting to break on the heel and the other pair is starting to break at the front um so um, I can probably finally get, um, I'm probably going to keep the Simpsons ones, to be honest, and I do kind of like the Pride ones, um, but both of them are getting pre, like with the Pride ones, but I've got this pair, which is kind of going to replace my Pride pair, essentially. So this is the, because essentially it's a Pride pair, <laughs> so I've got this pair, I mean, Look how cute they are. And the start, both stars are a little bit different, as you can see. Um, so, and uh, as you can see, both of the prints are just subtly a little bit different as well with their colour dynamic. So the colourway is a little bit different on per shoe. So this um, so I've got this pair to replace my Pride shoes, even though this pair is not an officially a Pride pair. And then I got this pair, uh, which is just this maroon pair. Um, so there's this pair and with a thicker heel too, because I'm pretty short really. Um, as you can see, I'll just do the comparison so you can see the heel difference on these. Maybe it might be better that way. Um, so, there we go. That's how they look. Um, 
and the last pair I got you know this is going to be a terribly long birthday vlog but that's what it is um uh this pair I'm not really that sold on this pair yet um because oh there's so much dust um because this is not very flexible at all like this top bit here is not very flexible um so yeah um, I don't know about this as you can see this is not very flexible at all but hey that's what happens so um yeah so that is the update for um, the 26th of May um, with the Converse um, also that I got so yeah that is the latest update um, I don't know if I'm going to have any more updates because I've got um, I think four packages coming but um, one is already a week late um, in the predicted uh, like get in here date I guess um, one hasn't even been sent um, because they've had shipping delays in that so that was like a pre-order and they've had shipping delays and um, the other one um, just may or may not get him but that's okay that's what happens I guess and um, I will uh, update you if it gets here in the month of May the next update in my birthday vlog is this clean canteen bottle and it's still taking ages to focus or just not focusing at all okay um, so this is the clean canteen water bottle in red there we go it is at 20 ounces or 590 two mils stainless steel and can take a lot of beating up easy to clean ice friendly air friendly so it says at 20 hours hot and 50 hours ice and obviously has an ice uh, friendly cap um, which is good other than that yeah, that's what it looks like and so this is May 28 and the latest birthday update hello everybody it is currently the 29th of May and uh, it is a Friday uh, so this will possibly be one of my last birthday month updates uh, because uh, Monday which is the 1st of June is actually a Monday and a public holiday um, so as a consequence um, this is the last mail day of my birthday month um, this is um, by my divine cloth that is her tag and her website I hope that is clear enough here for everyone to see okay so I'm gonna cut yeah, there we go I was a bit concerned about this one um, not turning up because um, I ordered it at the start of the month um, and uh, I'm assuming again obviously due to COVID so two of the mail items aren't going to arrive but this is a lovely thing to a lovely item or a lovely package to end on okay so we're going to open this up we'll leave you guys to see and we've got these two pouches so this is one side 
and then it kind of folds out like that and you have two sides and it's actually quite thick um, okay it's actually quite a thick item so one in this cute flower purple pink flower print and then I've got one in this kind of black and white um, steamy punk uh, kind of reminded me of Tim Burton really which is kind of why I liked it but this is basically the same as the flower one um, in that there we go um, there is also this one these are both 10 inches um, and so this is uh, some bunny love some bunny loves you um, which is kind of cute and kind of graffiti style uh, this is actually the one that caught my eye I really kind of liked this pattern um, so um, this is the pattern that really stood out for me um, my divine cloth is a Brisbane maker um, just for all of you guys out there um, may want to know so there we go two 10 inch moderates and two zippered bags this is her card when it focuses for you there we go and she also has a Facebook group that is not focusing very well at all at the moment there we go that's a bit better so that also shows her facebook um, group um she has this is just obviously an information sheet on the cloth pads um and her tag so these are both red tagged which is heavy plus p-u-l um, apparently so yes um this print is was the one that i picked it on and that somebody loves you and then this kind of tim burton-esque or well at least i thought of a kind of tim burton-esque and this kind of 60s flower all by my divine cloth and this is kind of a lovely end to the birthday month of may um i hope you've enjoyed watching um all of this over the month um and have kind of come along with me for my birthday month um this will be put together and released because i think i've got quite a few to put together this is probably going to be a ridiculously long um video as it is um but that's okay so you guys will see it um on monday the first and uh I will, uh, I guess, see your feedback <laughs> um, on it. And um, yes, so thank you for watching. In, uh, enjoy your morning, evening, or afternoon. Depend afternoon or evening. That's the wrong way around, depending on where you are in the day. And I, of course, will catch up with you all in future videos. Bye, everyone.